using Zara Extreme it's pretty easy to create a composite from uh, two, three, four or however many photos you might have and uh, give it the impression that uh, the, the object, in this case the, uh, the person in the photo, is in more than one place uh, at, at one time in the photo. Now I've got three pretty boring photos prepared here, I'll just uh, reduce that in size so we can bring all three in. Now th these are not very high quality photos but it's just a quick test to show you how um, we can do this. Now I've, I've set the camera on the tripod and just taken three shots with the person in a different position. What we need to do first of all is stack the photos on top of each other so I'll select them all and use the arrange tool and click in the center of the object alignment tool and apply that so they're all stacked on top of each other. Now all we need to do here now is to remove the part of the photo uh, that we don't want but keeping the, the object, the, the person, young Derek here, <coughs> in, the, in the actual photo. And the easiest way to do this in, in Zara Extreme is to select the, uh, the top photo, hold down the numpad minus key and then just drag the handle on the left of course there to, to remove that part of the photo uh, which you don't need, in this case most of it and that then reveals the photograph on the next layer here and you can see that, uh, that Derek is now standing in, in front. Now we've got a slight line of course uh, to, sh to show us that the, the, there's, a, there's a break and what we need to do there is to feather that so we'll select that part of the photo that we just adjusted and we'll select the transparency tool and just add a little bit of transparency so basically a feathering to that edge of the photo being careful not to go over um, Derek's arm there otherwise we'll start seeing the background of the other one there and that then blends them together so we've got two Derek's here now but we've got another one standing here in the photo beneath so we'll do the same thing We'll click on this photo, hold down the numpad minus key and pull that one in until Derek is revealed. And then again we've got the line there showing us that we've got two uh, photographs but we just feather that one so select that one, select the transparency tool and just give that edge a little feathering like so to blend it in. And, uh, and, and there you have it basically. Uh, select it all, group it uh, might want to brighten it a little bit perhaps uh, so we'll go to um, the photo tool here and we'll select uh, our brightness control bring it up a tad and basically there we have it it's a, a pretty easy process but you've got to make sure of course that you plan to do a photograph in, in this way, a composite in this way so set your camera up on a nice sturdy tripod um, and uh, make sure that you don't, uh, don't wiggle it around when you take, uh, take your uh, stack of photos. Of course you can have more than three, but prepare for it and plan for it to make it easy to put it together afterwards.